This is a bit of biology with Mr. Rock, and today we're going to be talking about fundamental genetic terms. Now, since this is kind of an intro video to genetics, we're also going to go over the definition, and genetics is essentially the scientific study of heredity. More simply put, uh, we are going to study how traits get passed down from generation to generation. Genetics is definitely one of the most focused areas of biology, and it's uh, the area that we are currently learning the most, so it's kind of an exciting topic right now. So to begin, we are going to go over what a gene is. A gene is a sequence of DNA that encodes for a particular trait. So you would have seen something like this before. This is a chromosome. It's made up of DNA. We may have just learned that DNA encodes for proteins and that protein makes life. So now I'm just I'm saying a definition that you might already kind of understand, but a gene such as eye color is found on a segment of your chromosome, which is DNA, and that particular set segment of DNA makes up your trait. So you would have a gene for eye color, and you'd have a gene for blood type, and you'd have a gene for hair color, and a gene for um, widow's peak. It is currently understood that humans have approximately 20,000 genes that make us us. The other thing that I want to explain before we get into what I call the magic terms is what an allele is. An allele is just different versions of a gene. So with that being said, I just said that you have a gene for blood type and you can have different alleles. So alleles are just the different versions of a gene and I think the way this is best understood is through like something like eye color. We all have an eye color, and we all have alleles for our eye color. So you can have alleles that give you brown, blue, green, gray, hazel, eyes. All of these alleles make up your eye color. So you can have different versions of a gene, and these different versions are called allele. These are made up from your sequence of DNA, and you got typically one allele from your mom and one allele from your dad. So guys, we are now going to go into the six magic words of biology. I call these magic words because you need to absolutely understand them if we are going to do anything at all in this unit. So first, we have the terms dominant and recessive. I want to begin with saying that throughout this whole entire six magic words segment, I'm going to be talking about pea pods. Um, so they're peas, like peas like you know, and there, there's two colors for them, yellow and green. Genetics can be very, very complicated. Something like skin color, you have lots of different genes that make up your skin color, and there's a bunch of different factors that influence skin color. And with this, pea pods are simple. So we're going to start with something very, very simple so we don't get confused initially. So pea pods can either be yellow or they can be green. And that's it. They can be yellow or they can be green. So to begin, we're going to talk about a dominant and recessive trait, and the dominant, the definition for a dominant trait is an allele, so it's a version of a gene, that overwhelms a weaker one, so it is expressed more. And a recessive allele is one that is expressed less because it's dominated by the stronger allele. So what I'm essentially saying here is if two pea pods are crossed with each other and one is a green mom and one is a yellow dad then the dominant trait is going to overwhelm the recessive one so if green crosses with yellow then they're all going to be yellow kids one thing i want to say when we start doing this practice is we are going to let the dominant characteristic yellow be represented with a capital letter and we are going to let the recessive characteristic be represented with the lower case from the dominant characteristic. So yellow from here on out is going to represent big Y and then green is going to be represented by little y. And we chose little y because the dominant color is yellow. So the next terms I want to bring up is genotype and phenotype. Genotype 
is the allele combination for a trait. So I showed you in the last slide that we are going to let Y be represented by, uh, yellow is represented by Y, and then little Y is represented by green. So your genotype is the two letters, your two alleles that you got from your parents. So for these P pods, they can either be big Y, big Y. So that means they would have the yellow allele and the yellow allele. They could be big Y, little Y. So they can be one allele from yellow and one allele from green. This means since yellow is dominant, that's going to be a yellow one. Or they could have a green allele and a green allele. That means they're going to be a green P pod. So the genotype is the letters the letters that make up a gene or a trait. The phenotype is the physical characteristic. So physical phenotype, that's the way I usually connect them. So a physical feature resulting from a genotype. And the example here is the P pods can either be green or they can be yellow. And we got that information from their genotype. And then finally, we're going to talk about homozygous and heterozygous. Homozygous, which is also known as a purebred, is a gene combination that either has two capital letters or two lowercase letters. So it's either two dominant alleles or two recessive alleles. So that means homozygous for this pea plant example could either be big Y, big Y, or it could also be little Y, little Y. And we can also refer to these individuals as purebred because they have letters that are the same size. Heterozygous, also known as a hybrid, is a gene combination that has both a dominant allele, so a capital, and then a lowercase allele, which is a lower, uh, sorry, a recessive allele. So the only heterozygous thing that can happen here is to have one big Y and one little y. Just going back to dominant versus recessive real quick. If you have the big y versus the little y, and this is one individual and they got big y from dad and little y from mom, this is going to be a yellow pea plant, plant because the y, the big y, yellow is dominant to the recessive green. This has been a bit of biology with Mr. Rock and I'm signing off.